Hello guys, <clears throat> as we are setting off for our first traveling over in UK, uh, Europe, Turkey, Iran, uh, the final destination of Lahore in Pakistan. In Europe, the countries included in our road trip are France, uh, Belgium, Germany, Austria, Hungary, Serbia and Bulgaria. When I posted about this road trip on social media about two weeks ago, received overwhelming comments from family members, friends and public. Thanks to all who wished and blessed us for a safe uh, journey on this road trip. In these comments, a lot of people asked about Irani visa, how did you get it and who to contact? Also asked about uh, quantity passage and expected cost of this trip. As I am aiming to post videos of our uh, road trip on YouTube, therefore, uh, for this purpose, I have created my YouTube channel and I will be posting videos and pictures of all spectacular and scenic views on the route. So this is my first video for my channel Ifti UK Vlogs. I should try my level best to cover as much as information and all the questions related with uh, this travel over land UK to Pakistan. So okay, let's start now. <clears throat> if you want to go on road trip and fancy a long enjoyable drive of more than 6000 miles full of outstanding spectacular views, natural beauties and to come across with uh, varieties of cultures, food and people. So your first step will be route planning. <clears throat> there are different routes for traveling UK to Pakistan. So you would need to plan which countries you will be traveling through. So you can sort out different things related to your uh, route map. You would plan uh, like uh, requirement of visa and uh, corner passage, etc. All the information uh, I will be giving in this video uh, for the route as I did mention earlier. That is UK, France, Bulgaria, no sorry, UK, France, Belgium, uh, Germany, Austria, Hungary, Serbia, Bulgaria, Turkey, Iran and Pakistan. <clears throat> I will show all the, I will show some information, uh, not possible to show all, but I will show some uh, important information like links uh, uh, related to uh, different websites uh, in the description of these videos so you guys can uh, uh, click on the link or copy the link and put on your <coughs> internet browser and visit the websites and find out all the information related to your road trip so okay let's first of all talk about the visa so visa for europe british nationals can enter eu using only their passport however from may 2023 uk travelers will need an ATOS visa waiver to enter eu countries uh, ATOS stands for european travel information and authorization system visa waiver is not a visa it is instead uh, an electronic travel permit that has been introduced to enhance the security and enforce the borders of Schengen zone. Turkey. British nationals traveling to Turkey are able to travel without visa for visits up to 90 days. Iran. British passport holders need to obtain a visa before they travel to Iran and would need to lodge an application through the Iranian embassy in London well in advance. 
Sometimes it takes a long time to get approval for an Iranian visa from 4 to 8 weeks. I would not uh, recommend contacting directly with Iranian embassy. Uh, it would be better if you apply through an agent. You can, if you apply through an agent, you can obtain visa on British passport within two weeks, on Pakistani passport within three days. Below is the detail of an agent, the best person and highly recommended, that is Mr. Ahmed Janati. You can contact him on WhatsApp number 00989123967789. Here is Mr. Ahmad Janati introducing by himself. Hello guys, this is Ahmed. If you are considering to travel to Iran, I'm a person who can assist you for your visa arrangement. You can pick up your visa from your own home country. It doesn't matter which country you are, Iran has an embassy in your country or not, we can arrange you for everything which you might need for your travel to Iran. Although, if you are driving or biking to Iran, I'm a person who can assist you for Connor Jansad right at the border and our representative at the border, at Bazargan border, Baj Iran border, Nordus border, or whenever you want to come to our country and exit the country, I can help. You just need to contact me on my WhatsApp number or contact my email. Please contact Mr. Ahmad Janati for your Iranian visa and hope you will not be disappointed and uh, you will get a good service from Mr. Janati. Just letting you guys know as I am going as a passenger with someone else, therefore I did apply Iranian visa on Pakistani passport uh, and obtained my uh, visa ground notice within two days. If you are taking your car and applying for CPD, uh, that is a Cornet D passage and done and uh, Cornet D passage and done. Then you will have to obtain Iranian visa on British passport. Electronically, you can send copy of passport and photo on WhatsApp. Then you will get a link of uh, an application form, enter your detail and submit the form. Also, you will need to transfer 75 euro that is uh, equal to 67 pound through PayPal uh, through PayPal uh, account uh, into the account of uh, agent. Uh, <clears throat> once your application for visa has been approved, you will get electronic copy of visa ground notice. Uh, this is also called uh, visa code. After receiving your visa grant notice, you then need to submit your passport in person to the Consulate General of the Islamic Republic of Iran. You can do this in any embassy as convenient to you in London or any other city situated on your route. Then you will get visa issued after paying fee about 55 euro. Visa for Pakistan. As a British citizen, you are required to obtain a visa if you are if you plan to travel to Pakistan. While well, you can go to any nearest Pakistani embassy to apply for it, you also have the option of getting a Pakistan e-visa online. So link is given here. Please be aware that the link showing here is the only link official visa application website which, which will uh, the link this will take you to the official visa application uh, website don't apply on any other websites or contact any persons or agencies offering visa application related services no visa is required if you are going as a passenger and you have NICOP that is NADRA card once you have applied for all the visas required second step will be to arrange Cornet D passage and when <clears throat> uh, in short it's called CPD so <clears throat> CPD uh, it is an international uh, customs document which covers the temporary admission of motor vehicles in countries where required in other words it's like a passport for a vehicle to enter multiple countries for temporary uh, importation 
without having to pay the duty and taxes. <clears throat> if you are following the route uh, UK, Europe, Turkey, Iran, Pakistan, you will need CPD for only Iran and Pakistan. No CPD required for um, I think uh, no CPD required for any European countries, but it's better if you need to check on the websites. <clears throat> if you're applying CPD in UK, you can get further information on this link. Course UK are the only CPD issuing authority in UK, and the detail is given below. This is the website and email and telephone number send detail of your vehicle and you will get a quote depending upon the value of your vehicle and there is, there is a fee for uh, five page cpt uh, five page cpd uh, uh, there are different pages for uh, uk to pakistan you uh, you only need five page cpd uh, <clears throat> if you need more than five pages there's a different fee and plus this fee 225 there are two options uh, option one and two as showing below and plus a, a 50 pound charge for each extra driver <clears throat> option one in option one if you go with this option you will have to pay security premium fee of certain amount depends upon your car value uh, about uh, uh, 65 to 70 percent of this security money is refundable once your CPD has been successfully discharged. In option two, uh, you can deposit cash 10,500. Uh, include uh, this includes a non-refundable fee of uh, 500 pound. Uh, <coughs> When CPD has been successfully discharged, so you can get refund uh, 10,000 pound. Uh, only <clears throat> they will take 500 pound as a fee. So about CPD uh, processing time is about uh, two to three weeks. CPD, uh, just be informed, CPD is not issued uh, to the nationals and dual nationals of the country the vehicle will be driven please be aware don't take this risk uh, please be aware course uk may ask to provide a copy of visa issued for iran and pakistan you can't say them uh, i'm getting visa on british passport for pakistan uh, and if you get the visa on pakistani passport uh, actually, no need to get the visa on Pakistani passport but if you don't get the visa uh, and if they ask uh, provide the visa, so definitely you will, you will have to provide the visa on British passport. CPD is valid for a maximum of one year. Once you enter any territory uh, like Iran or Pakistan, so it's your responsibility to ensure your vehicle leaves these territories within three months. You can enter again provided CPD is still valid. So this was all about the CPD. Now international driving permit. So in short it's called IDP. You may need an international driving uh, permit to drive in some countries. You can check on this link. If you are traveling through more than one country, you might need more than one IDP. There are three types of IDP by numbers like 1926, 1949 and 1968. Check on the above link which type of IDP is required for the countries included in your road trip. You may need only one IDP if type of IDP is the same for all the countries. For our planned route, we obtained only one IDP for Serbia, Turkey, Iran and Pakistan because the type of IDP was the same for these countries that is 1968. Now green card, 
that is about the insurance of your car you are taking the green card is an international uh, certificate of insurance providing visiting motorists with proof of the minimum compulsory insurance cover required by the law of the country visited if you are traveling overland europe turkey iran and pakistan you should contact your insurer to find out whether a green card is necessary where possible is uh, this should be done at least one month before traveling almost all uk vehicle insurance uh, provides the minimum third party cover to drive across the eu countries including bosnia and serbia you may need to carry a green card to drive in turkey iran and pakistan for turkey you can get a uh, green card from your insurer in uk and for iran <clears throat> you will have to buy insurance for your car at border so you can pay at the border and you can get the insurance of your car visit below uh, website for further information uh, no vnet is like a road tax for traveling in europe uh, it is a sticker that drivers must fix to their windshield signifying that they have paid the appropriate taxes and fees necessary to drive along the highways of austria hungary romania slovakia slovenia Switzerland and Bulgaria. Drivers must obtain the required minute for each required country upon entry, as there is no universal uh, minute sticker at this time. Uh, so don't worry. Uh, minutes are quite affordable and can be acquired at any border crossing into uh, said required country. Or you can opt in online before traveling into these countries. So here is the detail uh, about the cost of vignettes about seven ten days. If you need more, then so you can check the websites for Austria uh, nine point six zero euro, uh, and for Bulgaria thirteen point one five euro, and for Hungary. 18.20 euro and for Romania 5.90 euro for Slovakia 19.75 euro and for Slovenia 21.90 euro uh, <coughs> you can't uh, get the unit for Switzerland for uh, this short period one week or one month for Switzerland, the vnet is only available uh, for one year, so the cost is about uh, 40 euro. The <coughs> for one year, and this vnet uh, is not uh, yet available uh, in electronic form. Serbia, uh, you don't need vnet for driving through Serbia. Actually, there are uh, regular toll posts uh, along motorways where you pay for the section you passed and you can't get this uh, uh, online you have to pay at the check post aside from the above uh, there are some legally required items you must bring with you to drive in some countries of europe like these are spare bulbs for your cause external lights because they can check these items in some European countries they can check in your car uh, to show the, these items are available in your car you are taking these like uh, spare bulbs uh, fire extinguisher a first aid kit and a reflective uh, jacket now we will talk about the COVID-19 related restrictions for France, uh, from 31st March 2022, uh, you will have to provide proof if you are fully vaccinated uh, within validity between 7 days and 9 months after being received booster. If not fully vaccinated, you will have to show negative PCR test taken no more than 72 hours before entry. 
you can use NHS app to show proof of vaccinations for Belgium, Austria, Hungary, Bulgaria and Serbia uh, you don't need to provide any proof of vaccinations uh, Germany uh, from Saturday 11th June 2022 all COVID-19 related restrictions for entry into Germany have been lifted you can travel to Germany for all travel purposes without showing any proof of uh, vaccinations you can check further on the link Turkey as of 1st June 2022, all COVID-19 restrictions in Turkey have been lifted and passengers arriving in Turkey are no longer required to present proof of vaccinations or negative PCR test results. You can check further on this link before you go. Iran, you must be fully vaccinated and present a valid vaccine certificate on arrival at least 14 days must have passed since the final dose of vaccine you must also have a negative pcr test not taken more than 72 hours before entry if you are not fully vaccinated you will not be allowed entry you can check for the latest information on the link here for pakistan require full vaccination against COVID-19 no PCR test required for fully vaccinated travelers check further information on the website and also uh, when you get to the border of Pakistan you will need to provide contact information uh, you can provide this information uh, through past uh, app or uh, through a web page, web based uh, form uh, the link is given below so before you go you can put your all information uh, in the past app or in the uh, web page on this website so this is all about the information required for traveling by road uh, uk europe Turkey, Iran, and Pakistan. Hope you have uh, got all the information which you need for planning a road trip. Thanks for watching this video. Please don't forget to like it and share it with your family members and friends. Also, please do subscribe my channel and press by, uh, bell icon so you can get notification of my next video. Thanks again. Okay.